Good morning, my dedicated viewers, and welcome if this is your first time. And glad to have you back if you've been away for a while. I'm Mark, and this is Miyochi, your gateway to flexibility, range of movement, injury prevention, and for an active and healthy lifestyle. Today's routine is the sun routine. So let's begin. Feel the stretch, not the pain. Our first stretch is going to be the overhead finger stretch. And what you do is you're just going to put your fingers in like this, clasp them, put them together like this, stretch your fingers out and bring it over your head like this. All right. And what you're doing is you're feeling it stretching in your fingers and all through your arms and up in your shoulders. And it feels really good. Oh, that feels good. And remember, feel the stretch, not the pain. If this is as far as you can go, that's fine. You'll get better and more flexible as you go. All right, and bring it down. Bring it out like this. Ooh, it's a chilly morning here in Florida. It's about 42 degrees. My hands are a little slippery, even trying to put my fingers in here. But I think we're gonna get a good sunrise. So put your fingers in, up over your head. No clouds in the sky, that sun's gonna come barreling on up. Okay, and bring it down. Stretch them out back like this. And one more time. Put your fingers in. Stretch those fingers too. So you're stretching your fingers. You're stretching your arms. You're stretching your shoulders. You're stretching your upper back on this one. And that is a good stretch right there. Winter's coming. Bring them back down. Okay, the next one's gonna be the wrist curl. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to put our hand out like this, curl your fingers in. With your other hand, grab your hand, your fingers, and then just pull down. So pull your wrist down like this. And you're gonna feel it stretching all in here and push it as far out as you can and you'll feel it stretching the, in your back, upper back muscles as well. Yep, winter's coming. And this is what I like to call the schizophrenic time, November and December. One day it'll be 40 degrees out here in the morning, the next day it'll be 70 or 80. You never know, it just goes up and down, up and down the temperatures. All right, let it down. Now, Bring the other hand out, curl your fingers in, and pull. And pull the wrist to the ground. Point it to the ground. Use this hand to pull your wrist. You're gonna feel it all in here and in your back muscles. Sometimes we have Christmases that are really cold, and then sometimes I've had Christmases that are 85 degrees. You just never know the schizophrenic time of year again. All right, put your hand out, curl your fingers and pull it down. So it's a chilly one this morning. All right, and down. And one more time. Takes a little strength up there in the shoulders, doesn't it? Put your hand out and pull it down. Okay. All right. Whew, that one took a little strength. I'm a little stiff because it's so cold this morning. All right. Now we're gonna do the shoulder rolls, one of my favorites. Just stand straight up, and we're just gonna put our shoulders and put them back like you're standing at attention. Roll them back like this. And now we're gonna roll them forward like this. And now you're stretching the upper back muscles, and you're trying to push your fold shoulders forward like this. And now roll them back like you're standing at attention. All right, and now push them forward. 
We've got a northwesterly breeze, which means that's coming from up in the Arctic area. So it's a cold, raw type of breeze, even though it's so sunny and not a cloud in the sky. It's that type of breeze that just cuts right through you. But I'm tough. Okay, rolling back. This is wintertime mode for us surfers. We start putting on the wetsuits and the booties and the gloves and the hoods. I surf all winter long. Doesn't matter how cold it is. Surfed in the snow before up in North Carolina, not down here. All right, and rolling forward again. And one more time, roll them back. All right. Okay, now we're gonna do the neck to sky stretch. We're gonna stretch our neck muscles here. And really all we're gonna do is we're just gonna look up to the sky. Now, I'm talking, but try to keep your mouth shut like that, and you'll feel it stretching all in your neck muscles. So I'm gonna quit talking and just stretch. Okay, bring it down. Got some blue sky up there today. There is not a cloud in the sky. Super clear with that northwest wind. That Arctic cold blast just clears the sky out. Okay, one more time, bring it back up. Look up as high as you can. Remember, feel the stretch, not the pain. Just look up as high as you can. Keep your mouth shut and stretch those neck muscles. and bring it back down. All right, one more time, up in the air. I got some pelicans about ready to pass me by. Maybe they'll come in the screen. Coming over right over there. Okay, bring it down. Yeah, there are those pelicans. As everybody knows, my favorite bird, the pelican. Love those pelicans. All right. Okay, the next one's gonna be the spine twist. This is one where I always have to say, feel the stretch, not the pain. We're going to um, stretch our upper torso, but we're also gonna stretch our spine and our vertebrae. So we always wanna be careful on that. And really what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spread our feet apart and we're going to twist like this. Keep your feet straight and then try to twist this way. If this is as far as you can go, that's fine. Do not feel any pain in your spine, okay? And then just twist out like this. This one's really good because it's twisting your spine, your torso, and it's also twisting your knees a little bit. It is just a full body twist. I really love this one. Even your upper shoulders are getting it. All right, now let's twist around the other way and twist again. All right, bring it back around and twist again. I love this stretch. It just wakens your whole body up when you do this stretch. Okay, twist around the other way. Not sure if I'm gonna surf today or stand up paddleboard. The waves are really good a couple days ago, but the offshore wind is starting to blow it flat. This may be a stand-up paddleboard day. Make my decision up at the very last moment. And one more time, we're gonna keep twisting on this one. 
Love this twist. We'll do it just really short on this. Okay, and then one more time around this way. And twist. What a great way to wake up your body. Okay. All right. It is time to hit the floor. Transition to the floor, and you know what that means. Food of the week. And it's the food of the week. Our food of the week is going to be sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes were thought to have been domesticated in Central and South America about 5,000 years ago. From there, theory has it that the vine cuttings were transported to Polynesia from South America by indigenous travelers, or vice versa. No one's 100% sure. Could have been the other way around. The health benefits. Sweet potatoes are extremely high in beta carotene, which is converted into vitamin A. In fact, one cup of sweet potatoes will give you well over 200% of your daily needs of vitamin A. The vitamin A in sweet potatoes are good for your eyes. It aids in the creation of pigments for light absorption, maintains the retina and cornea, and helps to prevent night blindness. The color pigments also have anti-inflammatory properties which target the brain and nerve tissue as well as the whole body. Sweet potatoes can help protect against ulcers. Some animal studies have shown the ability for it to treat peptic ulcers and suppress gastric ulcers. And sweet potatoes are cancer fighters as they contain anthocyanins and polyphenols, which help to prevent, slow, or even kill cancer cells in the breast, prostate, stomach, and colon. Sweet potatoes are excellent for brain health as they contain manganese, choline, and anthocyanins. These nutrients stimulate brain growth and development, help to speed up electrical impulses in the brain, and have memory enhancing properties. Sweet potatoes have empty microbial properties, which may inhibit the growth of foodborne bacteria. And finally, they are good for your digestion, stabilize blood sugar levels, good for your heart, and they can boost your immunity. Fun facts, the official vegetable of North Carolina is the sweet potato. And George Washington grew sweet potatoes on his plantation. And Christopher Columbus's crew were thought to be the first Europeans ever to eat sweet potatoes. So as always, uh, so get you some sweet potatoes, great food of the week, very nutritious. I had them last night for dinner as a matter of fact. So, as always, the food of the week is one part of my four pillars of Miyochi. My four pillars of Miyochi are flexibility, proper nutrition, stress reduction, and exercise of any kind. You follow my four pillars of Miyochi, and I can guarantee you, your quality of life will improve dramatically. Okay, so let's start with the floor exercises. The first one is going to be the toe foot stretch. Hey, we got a good sun coming up now, don't we? All right, that is nice. Very orange. Okay, toe foot stretch. We're just going to get on our toes like this, bring our knees down, and then just kind of lean back. And you're gonna feel it stretching inside the back of your feet right here. And you're just kind of gonna lean back. And you're, touch you're also stretching the fingers and your toes as well, right in here. Nice. It's a lot better. The last couple sunrises we've had, they've been like over class cloudy and rain, so I'm happy to see the sun. All right, relax. And one more time, put your feet up like this and bring them down. And then just stretch the bottoms of your feet right in there. Maybe that sun will warm me up a little bit. Love it. Nice sunrise. Nice, nice sunrise. Oh, now I'm getting blinded because I keep staring at it. Okay. All right. The next one's going to be the hip bottom stretch. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sit straight like this, bring one foot over, 
Grab your hand, put your hands on your knee, keep your back straight, and pull your knee towards your chest. And when you do that, you're gonna feel it stretching all back in uh, your back thigh muscle and in your buttocks and in your hip. And just bring that knee to your chest and keep your back straight. The other thing is try to keep this foot straight like this and you'll see it, feel it stretching underneath your thigh here as well, underneath your kneecap. I am stiff this morning because it's so chilly. It definitely makes a difference, the temperature. Okay, and bring it down. Let's put the other one over. Grab your knee and bring it towards your chest. Keep your back straight. Point this, those toe fingers up so you can feel it stretching underneath here. And stretch. Ah, oh, it's a good large muscle back here that you're the bottom buttocks muscle and the thigh muscle right there. That is a good stretch. Ah, feels good. Okay, bring it back down. Now let's bring the other knee over. Grab it, keep your back straight, and pull it towards your chest. Point that toe up, and you'll feel it all stretching back in there. That feels really good, too. This is some good leg stretching right here. All right, bring it down. Bring this one over and stretch. Okay, bring your knee over and stretch. This is waking you up this morning, isn't it? All right, and one more time. Bring it back over and stretch. All right, have some good stretching. All right, the next one is going to be the leg hug stretch. And really, all we're gonna do is put our arms through our legs like this, and then we're gonna bend over and hug our legs. And we're gonna be stretching our back vertebrae again and our spine. So feel the stretch, not the pain. If this is as far as you can go, that's as far as you can go. And just hug yourself like this. Okay, up in the air, bring it back down, and hug yourself. Okay, bring it out like this. Enjoy this beautiful, crisp, cool morning. It's winter time, hardly anybody's on the beach this time of year. Winter's my favorite time because it's just a very quiet and peaceful time on the beach. Usually it's you and the beach. And stretch one more time. Okay, all right, I think we uh, stretched our spine some today, didn't we? All right, now it's time to head up back and uh, stand up. 
And uh, this is where I like to talk about what I'm doing here. What my goal is, is to stretch with you for the next 20, 30, 40 years. So if you like what I'm doing, please help spread the word. You can share, uh, you can do that by sharing all my videos on Miyochi.com or you can go to my YouTube homepage by clicking on the Miyochi icon in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And if you're a frequent viewer, then you can hit the red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And don't forget to hit the bell notification as well. Then you will be notified when my latest videos are posted and which is every other Saturday at 6 a.m. Finally, I would love to hear your comments, questions, and any feedback. So feel free to write them in the comments section below down here in the screen. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up like button. All right, so thank you. Now let's get back to our stretching exercises. The next one, we're gonna to need to get our chair. And this one is going to be the thigh stretch. So we, we stretch the uh, back part of our thigh. Now we're gonna stretch the front part of our thigh. Use your chair and just grab your ankle, point your knee down to the floor as, much as, as far as you can, straight down, keep your back straight, and then put your heel to your butt like this. And what you're doing is you're feeling it stretching all in your thighs right here, your thigh muscle right there. Use your, your chair for balance. All right, and down. Grab the other one. Woo! I'm on an incline. And point that knee to the ground. If you don't feel any stretching, then point the knee further like that. If you can get it the straighter to the ground, you'll start feeling it stretch in your thigh. All right, bring it down and up. All right, one more time, grab that ankle and go up. Beautiful morning. I can hear some birds chirping in the background. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more quick ones. It might be a stand-up paddleboard day today. It's trying. If it would have been a couple days ago, it would have been epic out here. All right. Hey there, Seagull. How are you doing? Okay. Now it's time to sit in the chair. And we're gonna do the pedal to the metal stretch. And what that is, we're just gonna put our feet out, keep your back straight. And put your feet down like you're pressing on the gas pedal. Keep your back straight. And what you're doing is you're feeling it stretching all in the front part of your thigh. All right, and now lift your feet and stick them up. Try to point your feet towards you like this. Here's somebody walking. All right, and now push it down, pedal to the metal.
Only the brave are out here this morning walking. They're the ones who are loving to walk out in the elements no matter what it is. And they're being fit and enjoying the morning. We should all be out here walking early in the morning, enjoying the fresh air or wherever you are. Okay, pull them back up. I'm sorry. I'm digressing. Doesn't matter where you are, go take a walk. It's probably cold where you are too, probably a lot colder. But feel that cold, fresh air, breathe it in. And one more time, push them down, pedal to the metal. This is also uh, stretching your ligaments and your tendons and joints in your ankle as well. So this is a good full body stretch. Now pull them back up. Okay. Hey birds. What's up little sandpipers? Hey. Hey. What's up? What is up? That's a sandpiper. Hey. Come here little sandpipers. All right, they usually hang out right at the shoreline and they get little things, they dig their beaks into the sand and they get little, uh, little animals to eat. Uh, and uh, usually they're on the shoreline, uh, right where the water and the sand meet. And they, get, they scoot back and forth. As the waters come, they scoot like this, and then the waters go out, they scoot back like that, and then the waters come up and they scoot. There's little scooters. Love sandpipers. All right, and now we're gonna do the hand shoulder roll. Basically, you put your uh, elbows out to your side, point your fingers towards your neck, and then pull the elbows back as far as you can. And you'll feel it stretching in your upper chest and your back muscles. You're also stretching your shoulders and your elbows. Now, push them in like this. Put your fingers and point them this way, and stretch. Okay, and back out like this. This is a good upper body stretch. And one more time, bring it in like this. And one more time, out. And bring them in. Okay, great stretching today. We stretched everything. Spines, knees, ankles, lower legs, upper legs, thighs, buttocks, torso, neck, fingers, toe fingers. We stretched them all. These are great full body stretches. I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful morning and uh, nice w winter day. Today I'd like to talk about a documentary I saw called Paddling for Happiness. And you can see it on YouTube, Paddling for Happiness. It was so inspiring to me, I watched it three times. And it's uh, the definition of what a true surfer is, because uh, being a surfer is not just about riding the waves. It's about a lifestyle of living at the ocean, enjoying the elements, no matter whether it's cold like it is today, uh, breathing in the fresh air, every day is different. Uh, so Paddling for Happiness is about a uh, veteran who uh, was in the war and uh, got hit by an IUD and lost three limbs. He lost both legs and one arm. 
and uh, he uh, ended up taking up surfing. And uh, it is the most inspiring thing ever. His name is Martin Pollock, and he is just the zen-like, coolest person to talk to uh, in this uh, documentary. And it talks about how he uh, took up surfing after he came back from the war and lost three limbs. And it's just wonderful to watch him out there surfing. And uh, that's what it means to be a surfer. It, it, it it's not, has nothing to do with um, your physical nature. You just go out, you paddle in the water, you catch the waves, and you ride the waves. And that's what he's doing. He's riding the waves. And uh, the beautiful thing is when you listen to the, the documentary, he's talking about a thing that he says, he goes, there's no such thing as a disability. Everyone has different abilities. What a great attitude to have. And he's out there surfing uh, with his abilities. And he's talking about how um, once he gets out in the water, he feels more free because he has his abilities to move around and catch the waves and surf the waves. And uh, he also said that he wants to change the term. He wants to change the term from being disabled to differently abled. He is a differently able person and he's out there surfing. So uh, this is what he, surfing has helped realize to him. But when you listen to the video, he's talking about how really everything that I talk about, being out in the water, enjoying the moment, riding the waves, the waves are very much a cosmic uh, event. The whole universe is made up of waves, radio waves, sun waves, uh, microwaves, and um, we're basically riding those waves. So we're, into, we're initially riding the universe. And I know that sounds a little crazy, but it's true. And that energy when we ride the waves is brought into us and it brings great joy. And that's why I've been surfing for 40 years. I never get sick of riding the waves. And I love being outdoors and seeing the sun rises like this and uh, breathing in the fresh air. But it's just so inspiring to see this gentleman go out and uh, surf the waves. So, you know, what do you, can you take from it? Number one, never feel sorry for yourself. If you're feeling sorry for yourself, watch this video and it will inspire you to do something better with your own life. Uh, if you're having struggles trying to figure out where to begin with your exercise, watch this video and you, I guarantee you, you will want to uh, get off that couch or start your exercises today and you'll be like, if this guy can do it, if Martin Pollock can do it, I certainly can do it. Find you something that inspires you, find something that drives you, whether it's walking, whether it's riding your bike, whether it's surfing or skateboarding or just doing um, workout routines, doing my stretching Miyochi videos, just get out there and do it. Follow Martin Pollock's lead and uh, enjoy life and enjoy the moment. And uh, he uh, expresses that very, very well in his documentary. So again, watch the documentary. It's called Paddling for Happiness. It's on YouTube. Just type it in and you'll see it. And uh, just a, it's a wonderful, inspiring thing. It makes me want to keep doing what I'm doing. And believe me, I've got no excuses. If he can do it, I can do it. If he can do it, anyone can do it. So get out there today and, uh, and uh, live life and get some exercise and get some moving going. So as always, I like to talk about why I'm here, my four pillars of Miyochi. And that is flexibility, proper nutrition, stress reduction, and exercise of any kind. You do my four pillars of Miyochi, and I can guarantee you, your uh, life will be so much better. So uh, my exercise today is, I think I'm gonna do some stand-up paddleboard and the waves have gone flat. 
Uh, we had some good waves a couple days ago. Uh, so uh, I'm off to do some stand-up paddleboarding. So remember, exercise of any kind. And I see you. <laughs>